Oh, boy. Geraldine Davis is settling in and settling down. I was almost in tears because I started thinking about what they had done. After her move from Florida to California. It was just a, a devastating experience. She had a binding uh, estimate from full service well, van lines, $3,800. I thought I knew what I would be paying. But she found out by law, binding estimates are only binding when done in person, not by phone as she did it. We're not additional there. After movers told her she had far more stuff than they expected, full service van lines almost doubled the bill and she agreed to pay. What can I do? They have all of my belongings. Um, my lifetime of memories, I'm over 70 years old, and I'm just in their hands. Then she discovered some boxes didn't belong to her, and some possessions were damaged. It should have two of these, one on each side. I've been trying to not cut myself on too much. Same goes for David so Matusiak, who of... waited more than two months for full service to deliver his belongings. So far, we still have um, one computer and a laptop missing. Matusiak reluctantly agreed to pay $2,400 more than his estimate after his stuff took up more space on the truck than was estimated over the phone, a move he does not want to see anyone else make. Um, you'd want to get an in-home estimate first and not just have it done over the phone. When the NBC6 investigators first heard from upset customers, Full Service Van Line's owner, Max Socher, showed us around his warehouse. This was July, days after federal inspectors started scouring his records. They, they went through everything to make sure that everything is running as smooth as possible. They were actually very impressed with how organized we were. Impressed? Not according to this recent investigation report. So you're shut down? Yeah. As of right now, we are shut down, 1,000%. While the shutdown was based on 15 safety violations and not on the customer complaints, Socher told me he's making widespread changes to get reinstated. We've switched a lot of things around. We've shortened our service area. So now we're, uh, we're doing amazing right now, actually. Actually, you're not doing anything right now because you're shut down. Well, yeah. Socher blames a busy summer moving season for some delays and stressed the contract does allow estimates to change if customers have more items than they revealed by phone. If it's an information error, like not telling me about the China cabinet, then of course the customer is going to be responsible for the additional. Regarding Geraldine Davis's damaged items? I don't have robots doing the move. It's all human error. Last week, the only things moving at full service were from trucks to the warehouse, while Socher vowed to do better. Unfortunately, it took this for us to really put our feet down and say, wow, we really need to make some changes in our company.